for, for you today in, in both games? What, uh, what was working for you against that pitching staff in Louisiana? Um, just trusting my plan. The past weekend, I didn't do as good as I wanted to, so I made sure to get extra work in before this game and just allowing the hard work that I put in to um, do what I did in the game today. Just talk about the two wins today, uh, two really, really good wins against a really good team. Yes, we came in um, strong-headed. We were ready to play and just showing that we can compete um, and beating a ranked team. It's just what our plan was to do today. And just talk about you and Jesse at the top of the order, uh, getting hits, driving in runs. Uh, how does that feel to be in, in sync like that so early? Good, um, really good. I know that I can do what Jesse can do. Jesse can do what I can do. And just having us both um, side by side like that can really produce runs for the team. Yeah, what do you make of the look of this lineup so far? You've got a lot of new faces contributing and the old hats as well. Um, it's great. The freshmen are picking up a lot. Um, they're being very productive. And then we have returners as well doing the same thing. So it's just a really good, strong lineup with a lot of depth. What are you looking forward to about going down and playing some top competition in Mexico? Well, I'm looking forward to it, just competing once again, um, improving ourselves right and not everybody else, um, and just trusting ourselves. And, and playing in these games against these top 25 opponents and, and picking up two huge wins, how does that help you guys moving forward where you're going to be facing more ranked opponents down the road in these next two tournaments? I think tonight prepared us really well with the challenge, um, and we handled it very well. So I just think it's boosting um, the team's confidence and, allowing, and showing ourselves that we can do it. Anything else for Nadia? Sorry. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you, Nadia. Jesse, can you just talk about coming into this first year and uh, contributing right away? How's that feel? Absolutely. Um, I came in and the team brought me in as one of their own immediately. It's a family feel here, and every at bat is selfless. So I was just, I'm always glad to, to help the, the cause. That's why we're all here. You jumped on, on Landry in the first inning, both games. Uh, what did you see out of her, and uh, you were able to time her up pretty well? Right, she's a great pitcher, um, and we prepared well for her. So we were all ready to come out with the first punch. And you mentioned that family aspect of here at Mississippi State. How did it feel to be catching for Josie in that big moment tonight against Louisiana? Right, I've been catching Josie for a long time, and so every moment that we have to play on this big stage, um, the chemistry comes comes in handy and um, it's a great experience that only contributes to the overall Mississippi State time. Yeah, you, know, you moved around a lot in high school and then now moved around a bit here in college. Uh, what's it like to you know, be here and obviously be reunited with uh, an old teammate there? It's really full circle mm -hmm. for, for my career and I'm just ultimately glad that I get to contribute to the program. What do you like about you and Nadia in that 2-3 in, in the order? Y'all getting hits, driving in runs, right. it's, it's clicking right now, isn't it? It absolutely is. I love hitting after Nadia. Um, she has big at-bats. She comes in with big energy, and I love to, to be able to keep that going after she sparks the float. And as you guys head to Mexico this upcoming weekend, how did picking up these two huge wins against Louisiana and a top 25 team prepare you for this tournament moving forward? They're a great team, and it was just what we needed to um, get rolling, see some big competition, and be prepared moving in to see um, competition like Oklahoma and Clemson. And what's your relationship like with Ella? You two, you know, you rotate in and out of the lineup with different pitchers and are really solid behind the plate. Just what's your relationship like, like with her in the bullpen and stuff? I love Ella. She's a great player. She's got a big catching IQ um, and a bright future. So I love to playing with her and helping her as much as I can because I do have a little bit more experience in learning from her as well. Um, she's going to be big for us, and uh, I hope to keep that relationship going. I love her. Even just in the last week, do you feel like you know the group's confidence has grown and people are starting to get a better idea of you know what this team is and can be? Right. Um, we talk about it all the time. We're we're a blue collar mentality program, and uh, we're ready to to meet some big competition and uh, prove ourselves right. Great. Anything else? Good. Thank Thanks, you. Jesse. Thank you, Thank you Jesse. Thanks. Coach, y'all were able to follow up four good wins on the weekend with two really good wins against the ranked team. So, how you feel about that? Yeah, uh, really, really proud of the team and the way they played today. Um, I mean, I think starting the circle, both Aspen and Josie just really 
did such a great job sticking with the game plan. Um, Coach T called another couple great games for us. And just really, I thought, clean all the way around. Really good defense, backing them up, um, and then getting the timely hitting when we needed it against a good team. I mean, they're a strong team. They play well in their conference postseason, a super regional team a year ago. So it was a good test for us and something that we know uh, matters a lot going into the end of the year, and so even though it was early on in the first week of playing for us that we had to really lock in for. Both teams were able to jump on Landry right away in the first inning. Um, you know, was that just you know good scouting, good film, and you were able to get a lead on her? Yeah, I think you know we've got a, a really good mix of you know veteran hitters with some really talented young ones, and especially the vets at the top of the lineup. I think they really did a great job of buying into the plan and not getting too big. Um, and I think they just you know we prepared for her and you know credit to Landry, she changed her plan up after you know the second time through that it happened and gave us a good fit the rest of that game. She's she's a great pitcher, has can throw a little bit of everything. Um, but I thought they did a good job attacking in the plan we were looking for and getting some good. Some good barrel on her. You mentioned the performances from your pitchers in the circle, but also you had a very solid showing from your catchers behind the plate. What do you guys get with having that combination of Ella and also Jesse and can put them in with different pitchers at any time? Yes, they're both just great behind the plate. I think they provide a, um, I think just a lot of confidence for our pitchers and being able to trust them back there, knowing that they're going to block up anything they throw if they need to throw a pitch in the dirt. Uh, both have strong arms and are really great receivers. Uh, you know, I think. Jesse really has the experience and the composure and really helps, especially Josie, just calm her down on the mound. And then on the flip side, it's fun to see a senior in Aspen Wesley thrown to the freshman with Ella. And Ella is just so talented in everything she does. And to continue to get her experience playing ranked teams and playing at this level is just going to go a long way for her future as a Bulldog. Have you seen a change in the confidence of this group even just since you hit the field uh, last Friday now that you've been able to, to prove it out there? Yeah, you know, I think it's really what we've been working for since the end of last year. And I don't think it's really been a surprise for us. I think we really, you know, we've worked really hard and our goal has been to go out there and prove ourselves right and knowing that we put in the work to be here and to compete with these teams and that, uh, you know, the way that last year finished wasn't us. And I think they've really done a good job of buying in, of competing together. And I think they're just happy to be able to go out there and, you know, see somebody else try and hit Josie and Aspen for a day and not have to face them in the box like they did the past couple months. I know it's a business trip coming up uh, to Mexico, but are you guys going to be able to do some, some non-softball activities down there as well? Or? Hopefully, yeah. yeah. It's it's really a fun trip. It's an all-inclusive yeah. resort we get to stay at, and you walk right across the street to the softball field. And I think we do a good job. Of, you get to feel the culture a little bit. And you know the games they're playing, they announce you in English and Spanish. They're playing the music. Um, and the whole town comes out to support the games, especially the Friday-Saturday games that we'll be playing. So we're excited for it. Um, I think the... The past couple trips that we've made, the, the favorite part for everyone has been when we get to do a camp with the, the kids in the area, and we'll do that this Saturday. So hopefully the rain stays away and we can keep everything on schedule. Um, we definitely like to let them enjoy, especially a, kind of a trip like this when we've got probably at least half our team has ever been out of the country. So let them have some fun, but then knowing that we've got you know another four really good games and solid opponents for us coming up this week too. Anything else? Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.